Hey guys, it's Gia. Welcome back to my channel. So today I actually am going to make a video for you guys on what exactly to say when you're selling the VIP rooms because a lot of you left in the comments on my last video asking like, well, what exact dialogue do you use when you're selling the rooms, not just like targeting specific groups. So this is the video I have prepared for you guys. Um, so let's get started. So basically, I'm going to call this video, like, if they say that, say this, or whatever. If they say this, say that. So I want to acknowledge the fact that when it comes to selling VIPs, you have to understand that most of these guys are, like, kind of gross. And they're going to be, like, asking for stuff. It's sexual. And you have to understand that. In order to sell the VIPs, you can't like automatically get mad at them or like shame them right away for that. Obviously, like, you know, try not to do that stuff. Or if you do, if you don't, it doesn't really matter. But if you're trying to like be clean and not do extras, uh, don't just like start off the bat by being like, we don't do that here, like super like aggressive because that's going to scare almost every single guy off. And you're actually not going to sell like really that many rooms at all because obviously like a man's mind is motivated by sex and if they're in the strip club it's like especially motivated by sex so you have to kind of play into that not saying you have to do anything but you do need to sort of play into the fantasy not even saying you have to promise anything but you can't like shame them or make them feel bad for wanting that so with that little note, let's get into it. So I have like common themes that guys say that I wrote down. So a lot of them will be like, well, how does it work? And when they say that, I say, we are a VIP based club. All the fun happens in the back room. This is just the waiting area. So the reason I say that is because it makes it seem like the back room is where like the fun and the party is at and really on the main floor is just the waiting area. Even though that's not necessarily the case, a lot of people do stay on the floor. We don't want like the customers to think that because we don't want them just like chilling on the floor. Obviously, unless they are like sliding you hundreds or just giving you like a bunch of cash, then you might as well just stay on the floor and pocket that. But if you are trying to sell a VIP, you need to make it seem like that's like the area where everything's like popping, everything's going on, whatever. So that's what I say. If they say, I just got here, which is super common if you're a stripper, you know, a lot of guys will be like, I just got here and have kind of this attitude. So it depends on their demeanor. If they're like, I just got here, or if they're like, I just got here, like leave me alone, then if they're like super rude, then I would just like leave them alone. But if they're like, I just got here, I would be like, oh my gosh, what a better way to start your night. Um, and then, sorry, I'm looking at my little notes that I wrote. And then I like to say, um, oh, like if it's early in the night, oh, it's kind of early in the night. I bet they'll give us like the extra naughty room for a little bit cheaper. Um, and then I like to say, oh yeah, you just got here. Let's get to know each other. Let's take a shot. Even though for me, getting to know a customer is just hanging out with them for like three minutes. I'm still willing to sit and take a shot with them. I take fake shots because I don't like to drink at work. But even if you just take a little shot or whatever, it kind of doesn't make it seem like you're like right to the point if they need to be like, you know, led into it. And then I just, another one I say is like, well, you're super handsome. Like I couldn't help myself. I had to come say hi to you because that obviously like strokes their ego. And then if you shook their ego, a lot of times they will be like, oh, well stay and hang out or whatever. Um, so that's what I say if they say, I just got here. Obviously there's like a million things I say, but these are the most common ones. So if you guys want me to elaborate on a specific topic, like a specific thing that guys say, leave a comment and I'll make like a whole video about that. But this is more like a little video kind of going through all of the most common things. Um, so if they say, I already had one. So that's a super common one as well. 
I just say, well, are you satisfied? And obviously like nine times out of 10, they're gonna be like, no, because like I said, their minds are driven by sex. And unless you're working in like a complete like brothel style or extras type of club, um, that usually didn't happen. So they're not necessarily like satisfied. And also if a guy, here's a little side note, a lot of girls are afraid to approach men who have just gone out of the VIP room because they're like, oh, they already spent money, they already went, they're not gonna do it again. And it's like, actually, that's just showing you that that guy is willing to do VIP. So you should always go up to the guys. Um, a lot of time they did blow their cash, they don't have any left, but sometimes they will just go right back into the room because they do wanna go and you're like a different flavor. So I'll be like, well, are you satisfied? And if they're like, no, I'll be like, well, you should give me a try because, you know, I know a lot of people here and, you know, they're not as strict with me. Even though that's not really saying anything, like not as strict could mean like, oh, well, I meant like they'll let us have like more drinks or um, I meant like they won't watch us the whole entire time. And even if they're not watching you the whole entire time, that doesn't mean you're doing anything or you're promising anything. You're just saying like, there's more freedom and that's not promising anything. As long as you don't like exclusively agree to something and it, most clubs will have like a list of things you can't say, as long as you don't say those things, then it's not really a big deal. Um, the other things I'll say is, well, you haven't gone with me, baby. Um, I love to break rules. So breaking a rule, like I said, could mean like maybe, um, I don't know, like I said, you're drinking more than usual or you get him a little free shot or um, you give him an extra five minutes in the room. Like, you know, it's cool. You tip the VIP host, whatever. It doesn't have to mean anything sexual, but you know, it's making it sound like, oh, well, like I'm the naughty one or whatever, which is like not, obviously if you're a dancer, you know, that's not what every single guy wants is like the naughty one, but you know, eight to nine times out of 10, that's pretty much the case. Um, and this is my favorite. I'm like, well, are you satisfied? Because I always have repeat customers. So if you always have repeat customers and I swear this line works so good. It works so good, especially with um, getting a tip. So a lot of guys will be like, oh, I'll tip you, but um, like, how do I know? Or I'll go back with you or I'll tip you, but how do I know you're gonna do a good job? And I always say, I always have repeat customers. And that doesn't mean anything. You could have repeat customers that sit on the floor with you all night. You could have repeat customers that are just your friend whatever, that's not saying anything sexual. But for some reason, when I say that, I feel like guys are just like, and I always say, um, even though this isn't even totally true about me, and I'm gonna make a video about this. I always say, sorry, my blind started going down. I always say, um, well, you know, my, like, sorry, <laughs> I always say, well, I always have repeat customers and I don't know, like, I really want to keep that clientele. I'm, I'm really all about customer service. And the whole thing is like, when you tell that to a guy, he thinks, oh, she really wants me to come back. Like, she's really going to make sure this is a good time for me. Like, I'm like, your business is important to me. That's how I pay my bills. Even though for me, I actually don't even like regulars and I'll get into that. I don't like regulars unless they pay you more than your average. So if your average, for me, I think my average right now went up a little bit. Like I said, it was 12 something before. My average right now is like 1400. So unless you're gonna pay me 1400 guaranteed in a night, then I'm probably not gonna even entertain you as a regular because someone else might walk in and I miss out on them. I'm not gonna miss out on a really good customer because I'm doing a 15 minute room or a few dances or like going on stage for a couple hundred dollars. So for me, regulars, I'll make a whole video about it, but they have to be like handing you a lot of cash, paying you $2,000 like for rooms, for dinners, whatever the case is. Um, 
because otherwise like you actually dig into your own pocket by making it a priority to entertain these guys on a regular basis but yeah that's what I say anyway I just say regulars are important to me and here's the thing for me personally I'm comfortable with lying to the customers because I don't care like I'm there to make my money and as long as they had somewhat of a good time or whatever it doesn't really matter to me some girls are uncomfortable with lying and their whole thing is like they want to be like authentic in the club and I'm probably not even the right person to listen to them because I think you should go with whatever like line or whatever look or whatever whatever's gonna help you make money like I think that's what you should do because we're in this industry to get as much as we can get out um so I'm not about appealing to the customers because if the customers could take you and have you for free and take advantage of you they would so I'm gonna say what I have to to make my money and I think that you girls should too so aside from that um yeah, so I just say, you know, about the repeat customers. Another common theme is, well, what are you going to do? Obviously, you know, everyone's heard this line. Well, what are you going to do? This is probably the most popular one. I just say, and this is what my best friend told me who makes a ton of money. I just say, don't worry, baby. You're going to be happy, relaxed, and satisfied. So like I said, that means absolutely nothing. Um, happy relaxed and satisfied and if your club is so strict to the point where you can't even say stuff like that then you probably shouldn't work there because you're not going to sell that many rooms anyway um unless like you really do have a clientele base that just pays to hang out but if you have like a really strict vip house and if even one guy complains and they take all your money forget it so i just say like yeah you'll be relaxed and satisfied and that's not saying anything and most clubs are cool with that um and most guys in their head think oh relaxed satisfied like okay like she's got me you know whatever <laughs> and that generally works for like the dirtier ones and with like the dirtier customers you really just have to play into them like oh my god you're so hot i would totally hang out with you like in real life like if i didn't have to pay my bills you know if I wasn't like kind of struggling right now, I wouldn't even charge you like, oh my God, I'm so excited to hang out with you in the room. You really have to play into that because if you don't, like they just don't believe you and they're not going to spend the money. They don't believe you're going to do anything. And even if you aren't, like you kind of want them to think it's going to be a good time. So yeah, you just have to make sure that they think you like them and they're going to have fun whatever fun means um and then I'm just being real in this video I just want to say that like I know some of you guys might be disturbed by this or whatever the case is but I'm telling you guys what actually works and you know I've been dancing for five years every single year my money has gone up by 50,000 and every single year like I improve and kind of rearrange my methods and I look into them and I study stuff and this is what's working for me right now and it's like as long as you have the clientele base you'll make the money so as long as you're working in a good city and a good club if you use the strategies I'm telling you guys you'll totally crush it and then the last one so this is kind of the same as what are we going to do and this one is like are you going to do x y or z which is like usually sexual favors. So what I always say is I can't agree to anything because then right off the bat, you're saying I cannot agree to anything, um, which is saying you're not going to do anything. And because there's, I always say, because there's audio, there's cameras that can hear us. I can't agree to anything. Um, but trust me, everyone always comes back to see me again. So that I feel like is literally the perfect line. You're saying I can't agree to anything. So automatically off the bat you're like covering yourself and then if like you were to get in trouble or a customer or a host asks you could just be like I told him I can't agree to anything and if you didn't agree to anything then there's no case for that customer because the only way they can really get you is if you say oh yeah I'll do this oh yeah I'll do that um so yeah I can't agree to anything 
if you want to, you can say, baby, I can't do that stuff, but trust me, it's going to be fun no matter what. So you could say either one. I think I can't agree to anything works better, obviously, but if you really don't feel comfortable saying that, obviously you can say, you know, baby, we can't do that stuff here. I would love to do that stuff to you, but honestly, like, I can't risk my job and I really just want to hang out with you and enjoy your company. I want to give you the best time ever and you would really be helping me out with my bills. So I feel like either one of those will work pretty good. And then, yeah, just stress the fact that you're there for them. They're going to have the best time. You want to see them again. And then get one of those like fake texting apps and get their number or give your number or whatever. So then they know like, oh, she wants to talk to me or whatever. And I always ask them, I'm like, what are you doing? Like, how many days are you in town for? Maybe we can hang out. Like, maybe we can link up. And you're not saying maybe we can hang out in exchange for this. You're just saying maybe we can hang out. Like, they genuinely think you like them. So anyway, that's what I say to the customers to sell my VIP rooms. And if you guys want more in-depth videos, like I said, on specific topics, just let me know. And sorry about my blinds going down. That really freaked me out. But I didn't want to record the whole video all over again. So yeah, just leave a comment below and I hope you guys like this video.